Hey guys and welcome back to my Football Manager videos. It's been way too long since I've um, done a, a video so I do apologise and I'm going to be cracking on with my Stoke career. I've not been playing Football Manager that much of late, been busy doing other things but I've managed to get myself addicted to this Stoke career once again. This was the end of the second season where I managed to finish third as you can see. Only three points off top place, so unlucky. I mean, I was top for long periods of the season, and it's a bit disappointing I didn't win in the end. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos in this career, I would highly recommend checking them out first. You know, why I'm here, where I am. I'm up to June 2019, um, second season with Stoke. I was at West Ham, won the Champions League, Stoke offered me loads of money. For some reason, they're really rich, and I went to Stoke, just fancy something different. And yeah, managed to thin it, finish third this season. And we did win the League Cup. Um, I'll quickly go to fixtures just to show you. So we finished. It was a poor end to the season, but here we go. Here's the Capital One Cup final. Beating Man United 2 1 in the final, thanks to goals from James Rodriguez and Rondon, who's a cracking player. But this is the team. This is who I had. You can have a look. Um, basically talked about all the players in the last video and who I signed. Carlos Fierro, top scorer of 19 goals. But I'm just about to sell into Man United for about 25 million. I shall show you in a few minutes, or well, a few seconds or whatever. Um, I've, I'm actually up to November already in the third season. I've just gone back here to show you the end of the last season. So my team's changed a bit, but more of that later. Just go through some analysis of the players. So top scorer, Vieira with 19, then Yarmolenko with 12, and then Rondon with 10. Assists-wise, Rodriguez was fantastic with 16 assists, and then Douglas Costa. Jack Butland, uh, he's, he's an interesting one. He's, he's got good attributes, but he does make a, a few mistakes. I actually posted a video on the FMCV Facebook group, which I'm an admin on, uh, of him making a mistake that basically ruined my chances of winning the league. Gifted Chelsea a last minute goal in which I lost 2-1, there we go but that awful run there just blew our chances, we went out of the Champions League in the semi-final, we did well to get to the semi-final finally beaten by Barcelona 5-2 on aggregate unfortunately but never mind it's a good season overall, we've won a competition I've improved the squad dramatically and we got to the semi-final of a Champions League, which is pretty impressive, I think. This is the tactic I've been using. Um, I do mix this around a lot, depending on who I'm playing. I very rarely stick to this, actually. I, I don't know why this is my main tactic, because I invariably change it quite soon into the game. Um, it sometimes works, but I generally I do change to attack, uh, direct passing. I mix it up quite a bit, so... There's no point asking for this tactic because it's not particularly brilliant. I just adapt to who I'm playing. If I see the strikers getting in behind my defence, I drop a bit deeper so they don't get in behind. But I do have Lionel Dennis, who's a pretty nifty defender. Very quick, 15 on acceleration and pace. So I think in the third season, he should be crucial alongside Shawcross. The reason why I'm selling Fierro, my top scorer, um, it's simply because I want to bring in Kisilev, who I signed for West Ham just before I left them. And he is just an unbelievable player. Uh, a regen. Where is he? There he is. And he's going to cost about, well, he cost £45 million in the end. I did sign him. I sold Fierro and I sold, signed Kisilev, as you'll see, when I skip to November. And show you how I'm doing in the third season so far. He's, he's an amazing player. But it is sad to see Fierro go. He's an amazing striker. Pro probably a better out-and-out striker than Kisilev, actually. But I just fancied something different. I fancy spending a bit of money on a player. And I'm just trying to bomb the league. But we might not be successful. We'll see. So this is my manager profile after the 2018-19 season. As you can see, I've now played 288 games. 137-1, drawn 66 and lost 85. One percentage of 47%, not bad. Considering I did actually get relegated with West Ham at one point. 
Um, that's not bad. And yeah, I mean, these attributes are quite strong. Not that that really matters. And I have been given a new contract. Um, yeah, this is, I, I'm getting, yeah, leaving in 2020, but actually I have signed a new contract. I might as well go to the other game. Okay, we've zoomed forward to the 2nd of November, and I'm just about to play Real Madrid, actually, in the Champions League group stage. In the league, I'm 4th and 21 points, as you can see there. If I look at the transfers, first of all, that's probably what you're really interested in. Transfers. Where am I? Here we go, transfers. Transfer history. This is who I signed. Kisilev for 45 million. As you can see, I did sell Fierro for 25.5 million. Sold Mayer, who just was a flop in the end, unfortunately, mainly because he got injured. Salvio, he's going downhill a bit, sold him. Liam Moore, somehow I managed to get 4.1 million for him, despite him never really playing for me. He's actually quite a good defender, but I didn't need him. Also brought in this guy for free, who's looks decent. Uh, needed a backup keeper. I always sign a not so good backup keeper, just so they don't really moan. And this decent defender, centre back, who should be. Should be good, but I will probably be playing Lionel Dennis and Shawcross most of the time. So this is how we've done so far this season. Top score, actually Mauricio, a fantastic right wing regen, fantastic player. Five goals in the League Cup in two games, which is why he's up there with eight goals. Then it's Kisilev. Done pretty well, but I think there's still room for improvement with him. Um, yeah, assists-wise, top is wing... Original him. I can never. I don't know the proper way of pronouncing his names. Invariably, someone will comment below <laughs> with the correct pronunciation of his name. And we've done well until the last few games, which we have flopped slightly against Everton and Fulham, which means we've dropped out of the top two, and we're down to fourth place. But in the Champions League, we've done well. We've um, beaten. Who did we beat? We beat CSK Moscow 2-1 and drew 0-0 against Ajax and drew against Real Madrid. Which means we're top going into the second half of the group. Real Madrid next. going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. We're at home. No, we're away. Sorry, I tell a lie. We're away. So, I can, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, hopefully we can qualify. So wish me luck. I shall let you know how I do at the end of this third season of Stoke. If I sign anyone in January... Hopefully I can win the league. If not, maybe a couple of cups just to try and make an improvement on last season. Got a brilliant team. Players like Matudi, I mean, fantastic. Rodriguez, McCarthy. Just got this. This team's full of quality. Just have a quick look down the list and you can see everyone. But it's full of real stars. So there's no excuse not to do well. In terms of other series, I'm hoping to continue... Um, well, start another emulating Messi, but it would be emulating Ronaldo this time. If you're interested in that, let me know. Some people said on my FM Society Facebook group that they're really interested in that still. Do another one of them. Possibly another Hunger Games style thing. I'll continue the FM experiments. I went through a phase three weeks ago of just uploading tons of FM experiments. Or was it two weeks ago? Can't remember. But I'll, I'll try and do them a bit more regularly. But no promises, I'm afraid I am a busy guy now. But I really enjoy uploading and I hope you enjoy my videos when they are up. Also the Premier League predictions. I did do it one pilot, so I plan to do another one before the end of the season and hopefully make that regular next season. And possibly some other real football videos like the one I did, the crossbar challenge and the penalty shootout on my other channel. Anyway, thank you for watching. That's enough of me blabbering away. You're probably bored by now. And, oh, it's my microphone falling over. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you soon.